This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellen. Here are some of the stories making headlines. We do have new information on the shooting death of a teenager in St. Louis. Police now say that girl, just 15 years old, she was shot Monday night near Riverview and Spring Garden in far north St. Louis. Police identify her as Deosha Purnell of Angelica Street in St. Louis. Right now, police are not releasing any information on possible suspects or what may have led to that shooting. With that homicide, St. Louis reached a grim milestone. The city's official homicide total now stands at 194. That matches the total for all of last year. We do want to remind you that if you have information on any of these crimes, you can always call Crime Stoppers 866-371-TIPS. You can call for a reward or you can call anonymously. The number again, 866-371-TIPS. A heated debate expected today over the St. Louis County Executive's public health orders. Councilman Tim Fitch has filed two bills that would limit the power of County Executive Sam Page during pandemics. One would limit the state, the length of the state of emergency. A declaration would last 15 days before the full county council would vote whether to extend it. For a quick check of the forecast now, we send things to meteorologist Kent Dearhart. We are still in a very nice weather pattern across the area. The one thing we do have to deal with today is a hazy, smoky sky. 83 degrees for the high today, very similar to yesterday. Warm, moderate humidity, light easterly winds, maybe 4 to 8 miles per hour, rain-free today. Tomorrow, a little different story. Of course, we're keeping an eye on very slow-moving Hurricane Sally down over the Gulf Coast. That not a player for us so much. But this front is a player that will bring a rain chance with it tomorrow. Meanwhile, we're watching some rain finally moving into the Pacific Northwest. Not a lot of it, but they'll take what they can get in those dry uh, rain burnt areas. And that rain extends down to the south a little bit. So at least some relief in that regard, but closer to home. The satellite and radar combined with the super predictor here showing uh, at noon tomorrow a few spot showers over the southern part of the viewing area. And as we go through the day, uh, they tend to fizzle off into the evening. Then the front approaches from the north on Thursday, late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And embedded within these clouds, there's a chance for a couple of spot showers real quick through the afternoon. But that front clears us by the evening on Thursday and just opens the door to some beautiful weather for the weekend. 86 for the high tomorrow, a spot shower or two. Pretty much the same story on Thursday, although cooler because the front clears the area pretty early in the day. We start to transition into that cooler air mass a little bit and drier too. Even lower humidity than what we've enjoyed already. On Friday, the high 74 with dry air and sunny skies. Saturday and Sunday look spectacular. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. And I'll tell you what, some of the outlying areas on the over the weekend uh, for overnight lows are going to be in the upper 40s. Thank you, and that is your News 4 update. Remember, we are always online at KMOV.com and your KMOV News app.